When it comes to the subject of blind buying, I try to stay true to the statement that I always say to you guys, try it before you buy it. But like I said, I'm guilty as charged of doing my share of blind buys. You guys gave me a ton of these in the last part one of this video of the subject. So I'm coming back today to give you guys my part two of favorite blind buys of 2020. If you guys want to know what they are, stick around. They're up next. All right, so before I jump into this video here, the part two of my favorite blind buys of 2020, there are still at least one more video or two that I can share with you of my favorite blind buys niche fragrances 2020. If you guys wanna know what they are, again, I ask of you, leave me some of these. If this video hits, again, 500 or more likes, I'll come back with my top favorite blind buys niche of 2020. So without any further ado, let's hop into this list right here. If I said it once, I've said it a thousand times, My one of my favorite brands right now when it comes to designers, this particular brand is really making a statement, especially when it comes to like the European market and like the Middle Eastern market for their releases. I think they're a little bit ahead now of the game when it comes to your top quote unquote, you know, top shelf designer brands because they are very innovative and they're coming out with really unique and extravagant compositions. I'm talking about, well, before I talk about this fifth pick here, there's other two other brands that I want to suggest you guys check out, which is Cartier and also Salvatore Ferragamo, which I found amazing fragrances blindly from these two brands over the past few years. So really check these out. Don't snooze on these, but this pick here is from Issey Miyake, guys. I've talked about Orange Sons. I've talked about Pulse of the Night. I've talked about, you know, uh, Noir Ombre. I've talked about a ton of great fragrances over the past three, four years from this house. But the one I'm talking about this year is going to be Noir Argent. This is going to be a spicy fragrance, ton of pepper and cardamom up top. It is absolutely delicious. If you guys like spicy fragrances, this is so good, guys. Great for compliments. It's one of those fragrances that's definitely going to make you stand out. There's nothing in the designer market that you're going to find at your general store today that smelled quite as good as Noir Argent. It was such a breath of fresh air. Again, these guys continuously um, surprise me with their releases. I have really always looked to blind buy these fragrances because I know there's always going to be something in there. And even if it's not great, it's it's good enough for me to blind buy. But I'm not saying to, to go and blind buy every Simiaki out there. But again, these darker ones are definitely above whatever is out there today in the designer game. This is another one that I'm very glad to have blind bought and have it in my collection. Noir Jaunt, definitely a great one here at the fit spot. If you want to know more about this fragrance, check out my first impression video that I unboxed this and shared it with you guys for the first time. Another very surprisingly good blind buy I made this year was from the house of Yope or Jupe, which is a house that you guys don't really hear much about since like the original Yope. You know, it doesn't really make lists here on, on the fragrance community. When was the last time you guys saw a Yope fragrance on a top list? You're going to see it here today. This is one of my favorite. Again, I did a first impression for you guys. I don't have a full review on this one. Perhaps if you guys want to see a full review, let me know. But this one here is from Antoine Massandou, which is the nose behind it. And this is Homme Absolute. This is from 2019. And this, again, was another breath of fresh air for me, guys. So good. Peppery up top with Ylang Ylang and Rose in the heart. And a great base of Tonka Incense and Vetiver, guys. This is masculine. I mean, the incense here with the floral, you know, the pepper and the base here is just so well blended. This is a great, great fragrance, guys. If this perhaps gave me a stronger performance, this would make, my, would have made my top. Actually, I didn't get it in time, I think, to wear it enough to make my top designer uh, 2019 uh, fall because I had gotten this towards the, the winter time. I think this is great, not strong enough for the winters that I get here in New England, New York, Connecticut area, but it's definitely amazing for the fall. I think it's definitely a great contender to make my top fall of 2020 because now it's going to give me enough time to wear it. But definitely check this one out. I think it's a great one. I think it's uh, along with Wow from Yope. I think this is definitely an underrated jam that you guys should definitely check out. It's not readily available, but you could definitely find this. And again, I'll have these listed where I found them. If you guys want to procure a bottle, you can. At the third spot, we have a fragrance that, funny enough, I have the whole collection, but I bought every single one of these fragrances blindly because they're not readily available where I am. So I had to pick them up, whether from Canada or Europe. I couldn't really find them here in the US for some reason. There's no Guerlain boutiques where I am. By now, you know it's going to be a Guerlain or a Guerlain. And this particular one here is definitely my current favorite and made my top winter designer 2020 for a reason. This is going to be L'Homme Ideal. And this fragrance here encompasses the beautiful DNA of this collection, which is that almond slash vanilla accord, along with that sherry kind of a vibe. But it adds this incredible, natural, animalistic, wild honey facet that I absolutely love. Again, 
If you want to see, I have a full review on this one, which I'll pop it up here. Definitely worth checking out the review. Most importantly, checking this fragrance out because right now, currently, it is my favorite from the Guerlain, you know, L'Homme Ideal collection. Now, this next blind buy here comes from a fragrance, you know, or brand. Uh, not a fragrance brand, they're just a brand that really has fragrances in their portfolio, but really not many fragrances at all. It's, it's a brand that's really known for their fine stitching and luxury garments for men, mostly. And this is going to be from the Italian house. Before I talk about the, Itali the name of the Italian house, they are known for their masculine garments, the jackets, the blazers, which, you know, retail for five to seven to ten thousand dollars per garment. It is very, you know, high end because they are the, the finest quality tailoring you can find in Italy stitching. I attest to that. But they only have three fragrances in their portfolio. And the one I'm talking about happens to be the second fragrance that they put out. They had one in 2009. This is from 2014. And they have another one, which is supposedly a darker version of this, that they released in 2015, which is an older parfum. The one I'm talking about here, though, is a very expensive blind buy. But I treated myself this past February, which was my birthday. And I'm talking about Brioni for Men Eau de Toilette. This fragrance is an absolutely stunning fragrance, guys. I talked about this fragrance to you guys a couple of times here and there. Um, it's one that I don't talk much about because it's not readily available for one. And for two, it is rather expensive. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It's peppery. It's got the iris in the middle. So talk about your own, those kind of fragrances that contain a beautiful note of iris. This is done to perfection. Gorgeous bottle. The scent itself is going to be incredible. You're going to be noticed, you're going to get compliments. And the great thing about this is this is very unique. You're not gonna smell like anybody else. So even though this is expensive, if you want something to give you an edge to make you smell extraordinarily well and different from anybody else, I would definitely consider checking this one out. And it was definitely a great blind buy to me, even though it was a little bit expensive. I'm glad to have this in my wardrobe, in my collection. I think it's definitely worth you guys checking this one out. All right, last but not least, the last blind buy in this video comes from a house that is also known for their leather goods. But they've actually been doing quite well in the fragrance world. I think we don't get much talks about them because number one, it's kind of hard to find here in the US. Well, the fragrances that is. And number two, you can't really find it discounted. When you, even when you find them at discounters, it's still highly priced. This one here was very hard for me to find. And this is another brand that I bought everything blindly from them. But I'm glad to have this for my collection, guys. This is definitely one of my favorite blind buys of 2020. Designers, I think, would be number one. Uh, it's an understatement. This stuff here is a delicious, delectable, gorgeous leather elixir. I'm talking about Bottega Veneta Pohome Parfum. I've heard about this fragrance on and off. I read about this on forums. And I just had to try this. This is an absolutely stunning juice, guys. I would describe this. It is absolutely out of this world good. If you can find a bottle of this and grab it, because I think it has been discontinued. Now, something that was hard to find, it's even harder to find, doesn't come cheap. But if you love leather like myself, this is a must try. The reason why I love this leather so much is because it has a ton of resins here. It has fur balsam, which gives this old world style of a vibe to it. It's got some resins at the base. The leather here is just gorgeous. It fits you like a, a great garment, a great suede leather jacket. It's just cozy, warm, balsamic, and very inviting. And at the base, along with those resins, it adds a little bit of a tonka for sweetness and a gorgeous woody facet with cedar. It's got one of the best natural smelling cedars at the base. If you love cedar-based fragrances with leather, this will blow your mind. Along with the spices, it also has a chili pepper note in the heart that adds this really nice spiciness to it, which is again, very intoxicating, very alluring. And by the way, this was released in 2017, guys. It's definitely a great leather fragrance. I will make this my scent of the day today because I just can't get enough of this. And I wanna know from you guys, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comment section. Let me know which ones, I mean, normally number one, do you like to blind buy? Do you do like myself? If you really want something, just go ahead and pull the trigger. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know your top three or top five favorite blind buys you guys made in the year of 2020. And of course, if you want to see a part three, just the niche fragrances that I bought blindly this year and blew me away, be sure to leave it in the like. Again, if this video hits 500 or more likes, I'll come back with a part three for you guys very soon. As always, guys, if you do appreciate what I do here, keep you guys in the know that's what I do here for fragrances. Please leave me a like along with the likes for part three. And of course, hit the subscriber button for more videos and to support what I do here. And of course, turn on your notification little bell icon so you get these videos straight into your feed as I populate them here on YouTube. As always, guys, remember, fragrance is emotion, emotion. So choose your fragrance wisely and wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys right back here again very soon with another video. Take care.